Hey there guys, Dave from BC Bushcraft. Welcome to another episode of the uh, Bushcraft Camp. Today I came in about um, an hour earlier than right now. It's about 9.30 in the morning. I was here at 8.30. It was raining like crazy. It's been really wet and cold for like the first hour, but uh, it's a, subsided a little bit, so I thought I could pull up the camera and show what I've been doing. And on the structure today, I put, you know, I've been supporting it. Um, with some of the things that I've been talking about and people were like, why didn't you support it before you put the poles on? It was fine. Uh, <laughs> the poles weren't like like making the thing, you know, fall apart, but uh, it, it does need support. So now that I have done that. Um, I tacked on some diagonals, you know, some little triangle pieces in the corner to stop it from kind of like bowing around too much. And I put some more like vertical supports. Uh, to help bear some of the weight of the roof poles. So I'll take you in a little bit closer and I can show you. There's the diagonal supports. I did one in that corner, that corner, and then I did it on the other side here. And then I did, you know, these vertical posts to bear the weight up here on this um, ridge pole. And then I did it back there for the lean to. So, so I'll tell you right now, I'm really happy that I decided to leave my tarp up and you can see back there that there's um, some big leaf maple leaves on top of it. I'm actually right underneath one big leaf maple tree. And for those of you who don't know, I'll pick one up. Uh, it's fall here and the leaves are really big on these guys, hence the name. They are not like the Eastern cousins that, you know, the leaves are tiny, uh, big leaf maples have massive leaves and that was like <clears throat> not even you know there's a lot of them around that's the uh, big leaf maple that i have over my camp where the leaves are coming from falling onto there this isn't a very big maple leaf tree it's, it's actually quite small so but the good thing about it is that um, there's going to be a lot of leaves falling around here and that's going to be part of my roofing structure i've decided that big leaf maple leaves are going to be part of the uh waterproofing system <clears throat> and I'm not going to be doing that until basically those leaves drop see I'll see what I have to work with and I'll probably do ferns on top of those leaves I think that is going to be a very <laughs> let's put my hood up <laughs> I think it'll be a very effective system in waterproofing the top here and then also um, waterproofing the back of the lean-to which are my main concerns for waterproofing so before I get my camera too, too wet, I'll kind of explain what I plan on doing today. So in this area here, um, right over around here, I want to be building some perimeter walls and kind of make like an area um, for cooking and for firewood prep. I'm not sure if it's going to be one or the other. Um, I might do it another side on the other place, but I'm going to start kind of creating like a camp that's enclosed with perimeter walls kind of going across, going down the side. And that's today's goal. It's like really wet. There's no point in trying to harvest stuff for the, the roofing materials. I'm just going to deal with like having the tarp there for now.
I'm just going to tie it off before I add on more so the logs don't slip um, down more. And you can kind of make a loop. I just use jute twine for when I'm doing like walls like this. So I just, you know, make a loop in one end. And then you can kind of wrap it. You can do figure of eights or you can wrap it first. You know, and then do a figure of eight. But hopefully this will keep the logs from, from slipping down too much on each other. Let's put that down a bit. And create, sometimes your wall might like collapse on itself. So this is just like the preventative step.
All right, well, that's it for me today. Managed to get basically three of the perimeter walls that I wanted to get done, done. And you can kind of see them in the background there. It took quite a while to obviously to find all the materials to make it the height that it is. So I got like a pretty good area. And then at the back here, there's gonna be another wall. Another wall back here. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with that area over here yet, but uh, I'll be closing off the shelter more too. So I feel like that's the plan for the bushcraft camp at the moment. Um, it's definitely going well. It's uh, been a lot of work, a lot of cutting and sawing and axing, but it, it's all totally worth it. It's gonna be like a really awesome place to continue to do um, videos and bushcraft things. So I'm really excited to um, actually do an overnight in here <laughs> whenever I get a chance to. The good news about this area too is that uh, within maybe like 20 minute hike, there is a river that uh, has fish in it. So that's always a video that might be possible in the future is to do like a, a catch and um, cook video, cook up some trout, that'd be really awesome. And th that's what I actually really like doing in the woods is stuff like that. I really enjoy fishing and then um, coming back to a camp like this after you caught a fish and like cooking it up here, that'd be a really cool experience. So uh, from the other side, hey, looks like starting to look like a, like a base camp, starting to feel like a home, a bushcraft home. From the other side, the back of the lean-to. The tarp's gonna stay up there for a while. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day. This is Dave from BC Bushcraft. I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of the Bushcraft Camp. So until the next episode, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.